The cardiovascular system, the lifeblood of our existence, is a force that preserves us, but like all of the body systems, it is susceptible to risk. Reducing these risks has long been a topic of scientific debate and study. Cardiovascular disease is a significant problem that continues to increase worldwide. CVD is the leading cause of death in the U.S. and is responsible for more than one-third of all deaths. The number of people in the U.S. with one or more forms of CVD has been estimated at nearly 80 million. CVD is associated with multiple risk factors and the underlying pathology is usually atherosclerosis due to dyslipidemia. To date, guidelines such as ATP3 and treatment strategies to reduce the risk of CVD have largely focused on reducing LDLC. Based on a growing body of knowledge of lipids and their roles, there is a need for a more comprehensive approach that brings all relevant lipoproteins into view as risk factors of CVD. Elevated LDLC is only one contributor to atherosclerosis. Other lipoproteins that play a role in cardiovascular risk beyond LDLC include low levels of HDLC and increased levels of triglycerides and LP little a. Triglycerides are carried primarily in very low density lipoproteins or VLDL. Abnormal levels of both triglycerides and HDL cholesterol often occur simultaneously. This is referred to as a triglyceride HDL axis disorder, which is commonly seen in patients with metabolic syndrome, a condition often associated with the development of type 2 diabetes and an increased risk of CVD. While CVD risk is often associated with high levels of select lipoproteins, a low level of one lipoprotein, HDLC, has been correlated with CHD risk.